The SVS team members should hold up the demonstration circuit to show the students the different components. Be sure to point out the batteries, the circuit connectors, the black and red leads, the resistor, and the LED light. Now, touch one end of the lead wire to the head of the nail and touch the other end of the lead wire to the point of the nail. Have the students observe the behavior of the LED and indicate that the nail allows the circuit to be completed because it is a good conductor of electricity. Now repeat the same procedure with the bottle cap. Putting the leads on the opposite sides of the bottle cap. The LED will not light up indicating that the plastic bottle cap is not a conductor. It is an insulator. Tell the students that in the first activity they will determine whether a solid is a conductor by testing whether it completes a circuit and causes the LED to light up. Distribute the following materials to pairs of students. One grid with assembled circuit, one bag of solid materials for checking conductivity, one instruction sheet, and two observation sheets. Tell the students to follow the instruction sheet and record their results, as shown in the demonstration. Distribute the following materials to the pairs. Six jars labeled and containing distilled water, tap water, vinegar, 1 mol 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid, distilled water for sugar to be added, and distilled water for salt to be added. One bag containing one ounce wide mouth bottle of sugar, one ounce wide mouth bottle of salt, two taster spoons, one chem wipe tissue, two toothpicks. Place the labeled jars on top of the diagram on the instruction sheet. Emphasize to the students that the jars must be in the correct order and that they must remove only one lid at a time. Remove the lid of the first jar containing distilled water. Put the metal ends of both lead wires in the jar as far apart as possible and note if the LED is glowing. Remove the leads. The lid can remain off since this jar will be used again in step 4 and step 5. Step 5. Testing hydrochloric acid. Remove the lid of the fifth jar and repeat the conductivity test by placing the leads in the jar as far apart as possible and observing the LED. Record your results. Rinse the metal ends of the lead wires in the rinse cup. After rinsing each lead, test that the leads are clean by putting them in the distilled water in jar 1. The LED should not glow. If it does, rinse the leads in the distilled water again. Replace the lid on the hydrochloric 